She is the foundation of the arts program at the college. Elsie has contributed to the continuing of Cree culture through her hide tanning and footwear modules, um, her teaching of that. There are um, special ways of preparing a hide as well as techniques for the footwear. And that restores not only the pride and the heritage of the Cree community, it's bringing something back that would have not been recognized. As a student, I felt comfortable in being in the program and knowing that there was a grandmother figure there as well. The program, first of all, is approved by uh, Alberta Advanced Education and Technology as a certificate program. The program's also recognized by Alberta Education for the relevance of the content to school curriculum as that curriculum relates to Aboriginal culture. It's very important to me that Portage College has the Native Cultural Arts program because uh, it gave me an opportunity to learn hands-on how to tan a hide, how to um, bead, how to do porcupine quills, all that traditional stuff that uh, is not available in my, in my home community. I wasn't raised too much with my tradition and I want to know where I come from and who I am. Younger students coming into this program have really lost touch with these skills, number one, and the the attitudes, cultural attitudes that are connected to the skills. My grandmother used to uh, tan hides, but she passed away when I was really, really young, so I never got a chance to learn those skills from her. I always wanted to learn my traditional ways, and learning through Elsie and through this program, it's telling me what I really want to be and who I want to be, and not to hide who I am, and that's what I like about it. We don't have very many Métis elders left in, well, just about all parts of probably Canada at her age that's able to still go out there, do these, and practice those traditional teachings that she has. Elsie has a unique way of connecting with people. She teaches in such a neat way without hardly any words. And my first pair of moccasins, she basically looked at me, she said, you did this? Oh, you're good. And it was that connection that really reminded me of my own grandmother. I got, got a word of Elsie before I met her, so her, her reputation kind of precedes her. But when you meet her uh, face to face, it's a very humbling experience because uh, she's very powerful in her ways and in her teachings. She has uh, taught me ways where, you know, you take your time, then you'll get it done properly. And it's very important that we don't lose that and the language. And, and because I generally speak Cree with her and she's very understanding and, and I love Elsie. <laughs> Being in the program was really where I needed to be. I felt at home and that's Elsie. She's the grandmother of grandmothers. It is really important that warmth and embrace in our heritage, and it's a part of who we are in our culture. It is just, I feel like family. You didn't start? No. You had no time. No, I got some. Look at this, I don't know if it's right or not. Grandmothers, they provide the heart fire that brings us home. You just don't perform. Whether it be in celebration or sharing. Perform. I can make over. Heat it them. I make myself all uh, She supports us. She also is a teacher to discipline us or give us a direction on the pathway. Do a curve. Mm -hmm. But I fix it. 
And a lot of times, like my grandmother, there are no words. She's just like a part of my family. And um, I don't know, like, it's something about her that just makes you get so attached to her. Uh, she just has a way about her that everybody latches onto her like a mother or a grandmother. Elsie, where else do you get an elder that's 90 some, 90 some odd years old and, you know, basically she takes it off the, the animal and throws it on a rack and starts, I mean, you don't get those skills at a, at a university. Or, or now? It's probably the only program in the province that is a very hands-on program with a doing orientation. Seems to be able to make that connection much more easily between artistic activity and the essential aspects of Aboriginal culture. And I can't help thinking that that's part of what brings people here. People are able to grasp a lot better than if I were to use overheads or PowerPoint or things like that. And the way she teaches, like traditional teaching, uh, they don't so much as give you all these different directions. Um, it's more you have to watch, listen, and participate in order to learn. And I think for Native people, that's um, one of the ways that they learn best. Yeah, but when you're lacing too, you got to make sure that these are even from the holes out, like they shouldn't come into the center of this. It resonates that artistic and creative uh, atmosphere. It makes instructional teaching really exciting. Like there's always something different. And I don't know that I could find that anywhere else. I feel at home here. I've learned a lot. It's, it's been a spiritual journey and an artistic journey. And I don't know, it's like my family here. The instructors are more of like a friend to you. The instructors are there to uh, help you. They understand if you're having troubles at home. As long as you're open and honest with them, they'll, they'll, they'll be there for you in times of hardship. To me, it makes me feel like I'm at home. It's, it's always my second home, I call it, because I feel so warm, and it's just so joying that I'm always smiling. Everybody says, why are you smiling? And I'm like, because I love it here. It's, it's my home. When I first started the program, uh, my brother passed away. And I was having a real hard time with that, and I missed a couple weeks. They sent me um, a card in the mail, and um, when I came back, they're really supportive. They caught me up to speed on what I missed, and um, they just made me feel like a part of a family. And they didn't let me quit, even though I wanted to quit. They didn't let me quit. Elsie inspired me to be an instructor. She's one of our elders, and um, when I look at her and her age, and I marvel in the teaching of the traditional practices um, in such that I, I always wanted to be in the same position, and I'm inspired to continue like she has with the traditional practices. The way Elsie's inspired me to teach is um, I guess not to be so high-tech, using high-spoken uh, words, is um, just to talk naturally, um, try and be as basic as possible so that our learners are able to grasp what we're trying to tell them. She uh, inspired me not to give up on, uh, on life in general. Like, uh, and every day there's going to be challenges your personal life and your school life uh, and she showed me that she never quit and uh, when I feeling kind of discouraged and I think about Elsie and she inspires me to try that much harder.
Elsie inspired me through my well-being and everything comes from the heart and and to make sure that um, that we teach our children from within to everybody else and I would like to uh, inspire the younger generation with my knowledge also. Elsie inspires me by just being there and being 92 years old and teaching us the high tanning. A lot of us weren't proud to be native, but she's made it so that you see her surviving on her art, on her skills, and it's like, hey, we can do that. I think Elsie's contribution to Portage College was to teach us that you don't have to necessarily be a teacher, that we can learn from everybody. Her contribution it goes beyond words, <laughs> in a sense, because she provides that absolutely crucial link for these younger people to that to the historical context of culture. It's more important to learn something from an elder than what we can learn from any teacher because they're passing on history and life experience that will be lost soon because the world is changing. And she's also taught us to respect the things that we're starting to lose so that we go and find them ourselves. I feel I've really evolved, yes. I've just I think I have goals in my life now, before I didn't, yeah. We just went sort of going down the river in the boat without the paddle, yeah. We just went wherever the current pushed us. For me, the way I feel inside, I feel like I'm a proud person. I am proud to be who I am and where I am right now in my life. Um, I got back into my traditional ways. I know lots through this college, this program, learning with Elsie and learning with my parents and my grandparents. Coming to Portage College has totally changed my life 360 degrees. Yeah, so, and my children are proud of me. My family's proud of me, yeah, so. I'm proud of myself, that's the biggest difference. Students transform themselves in self-awareness that I can do this look at my marks. The students who were unable to do presentations discover that they are uh, very good at presenting, discover that their marks aren't failure marks. Because they see Elsie and they go, wow, she's 92 years old and she's still teaching. How awesome.